Welcome back to that handicapping show. I'm Claire Novak, joined today by Tom Lamara. We are here to talk about the $300,000 Mother Goose Stakes. Grade 1 mile and a 16th at Belmont Park has drawn a quality but short field. Looking at the return of Rachel's Valentina in here, and of course we have to remember the triumph of Rachel Alexandra Herdam winning this race by more than 19 lengths as part of her Horse of the Year campaign in 2009. Rachel's Valentina looking for her first run since a disappointment Disappointing finish in the Kentucky Oaks. Couple horses in here coming back who ran in the Oaks. Tom, who do you like? Well, like you said, it's it's a very interesting. Oh, I just said it. It's a very <laughs> interesting race. Um, kind of hard to figure out who's going to have the lead. These fillies all all have that kind of same running style. They mm -hmm. can be close. A couple of them like to come from far back. Um, I did not put uh, Rachel's Valentina in my top three. I kind of liked off the tracks last race in the Acorn. Mm -hmm. um, she split two very nice fillies in Karina Mia and Catherine Sophia with a little bit of traffic. That was the one turn mile mm -hmm. uh, here at Belmont and of course a mile and a sixteenth is also one turn. Uh, I'm not worried about the extra sixteenth of a mile. She drew inside in the six horse field. Um, not sure that post is really going to be a factor here. but. I think she should be really close to the pace, and I just expect her to move up off of her last start. So she's my top pick. You can talk about, oh, it's the same horse. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it is the same horse. Oh, no. Well, you mentioned the pace, and I did note Mom's on strike. This filly has blinkers. She's put in some bullet work, so I would expect her to be near the lead or, uh, or actually setting the pace. But as you mentioned with Off the Tracks, this is really a filly who hasn't done very much wrong. She won three in a row when trained by Rudy Rodriguez, got switched to Pletcher, ran third in the Gulfstream Park Oaks on a sloppy track, came back with that very good effort, beating the Kentucky Oaks winner on the day, running second to Carolina in the Acorn. So I definitely think she's going to be a huge factor. We've got a horse like Lewis Bay, who also is a multiple graded stakes winner, comes in off a third in the Kentucky Oaks, and I really think on class you need to look at her. And then when we talk about Rachel's Valentina, look, the big thing is she threw in a clunker in the Kentucky Oaks but it probably was a lot to ask mm -hmm. of her after her big huge run in the Ashland and coming back in 27 days I'm just gonna throw that one out as you know things not the stars not aligning as far as her early season goes I do think she's set to run a big effort here but I think she mm -hmm. might need the race yeah I do like Lewis Bay uh, she's really good around two turns but uh, the mile and 16th fits her well and she um, she has won around one turn actually at Belmont. The horse that I picked second, uh, she's undefeated in three starts, Lightstream. Yes. Um, she's never gone beyond seven furlongs. Actually all three of her races have come at, uh, at seven furlongs or about seven furlongs. Mm -hmm. I like the turf to dirt angle. She won a, um, a seven furlong turf stakes at Belmont. And I think she'll have no problem with distance. And oddly, she may end up a decent price in here. So I would definitely use her. All right. Well, this weekend is a busy one. Lots of racing coast to coast. We will have coverage for you at bloodhorse.com. We have a new addition to bloodhorse.com, and that is Litfin at large, getting a chance to pick the brain of veteran handicapper Dave Litfin. And he has analyzed this race, so you can go to Blood Horse and see what he thinks. We always want to thank Equibase for sponsoring the show. Thank you for watching.